Welcome to this week's Social Club. The Premier League have released their list of the players that have been released from their clubs this season. Yeah? Is that a sentence that made sense? I'm, I'm with you. Whatever. Because I know, because I've done mine. Someone, we've done it. Someone's released something. So there's a, li there's a list of players that all the Premier League clubs from last season have released. So we've kept Aston Villa at et al. in this. We've decided to put together released 11s uh, and to see which one's the best. I'm going to be asking you to vote on that as well. If you want to play along, then, you know, do. That's your prerogative. Um, Chris, do you want to start us off? Yeah. I'm going to go with... Are we going to go position at a time or whole team at a time? You know what? I, I want to see your. I want you to tell me. To go for your okay. team and talk for right. your team. I've gone for. I've gone for Victor Valdez in goal. To be perfectly honest with you, okay. uh, a couple of other keepers. Richard Wright was was in there, but I think when you look at what the guy's actually achieved over his career, Victor Valdez is the easier pick for me. Uh, back four, I've gone with Joey O'Brien at right back. A big colo in in at centre back with Di Michaelis. Now they're not the most pacey, and no. I, and, it, and it does frighten me. A little touch. Yeah. So I've put uh, Charles and Zogby in at left back, and I'm right. Basically, okay. I'm basically <laughs> training them up like uh, Valencia at Manchester United. Yeah. I think that he can cross the ball, and we'll get down the pitch. And to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't want Jose Enrique anywhere near my side, <laughs> and I think anyone that's put Jose Enrique in their side or Paul Konchesky is just fucking stupid. Yeah. Well, there is that. I think. Um, do you think he's got the mentality for a left back? Listen, when he's got Colo Torre up, up beside him, yeah, I do. I think he can really. I think he can really do that. And, okay. You know, Di Michaela. This is a bit of a joke. You've but gone for a 4 2 3 1. Yeah, Flamini Arteta. Decent. Defensive mids. <laughs> There's no pace, is there, down the centre? In this There's team? no. Well, no. And you've not seen the rest of it, but you're right. <laughs> you're, you're exactly spot on. Uh, it's a bit of a toss up for me. I've gone three behind front one. It was a toss up between Pinar and Sessignon. Uh, I've gone for Stevie P because my brother used to love him, to be perfectly honest with you. Awesome player. Uh, Thomas Rizicki in the 10. Not played a lot of football. Granted, should be fresh. Should be. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, and I've gone and for I'd, I'd, Gaston Ramirez at left wing because Charles Nzogby is my left back. Um, <laughs> He's going to provide the cover, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm hoping that Flamini at, what, 34, is he now? Yeah. Can, can, wow. can get there. Uh, Artes is 35, isn't he? Dima Kalis, about 35. Hasn't Artes actually retired, 35. though? He's on this list. He's on the That's release list. Let's just leave it at that. He hasn't, he hasn't actually decided to Oh, is he? He's probably going to go into coaching, isn't he? I know what? Be player coach. Player I coach. heard he retired when he signed for that. <laughs> player coach. There's no way for us to know, so let's just carry on. And then up front, there's only one man. Uh, it's my Arsenal spine of Colo Torre, Flamini, Arteta, Rizicki, and Adebayor. They've all played together, I hope. Yeah. Robbie, is that true? Have they all played together at one they time have, or another? They surely would have been in the same team. Um, yeah. I don't think so. Basically, the, well, it's basically a couple of the. The only one who's the only one who's less likely to have done it is probably Rizicki, just because he was probably injured. Um, he's been there for ten years, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. And he's pretty. I feel played. like you've been playing Championship Manager ten or something <laughs> far too long. Yeah, absolutely. Um, good side though, I think. Robbie, do you want to? Actually, yeah, you know what? My team. Side, I agree. I think that's a really good side, apart from the fact <laughs> that you put. You've got. I think it's I, I, I'm not having Jose Enrique in this side, and I'm not having Paul Conchessy. I feel in this like side. it's going to sit quite deep that side, because yeah, but uh, against pace. I know you're, I mean, you're totally right. Yeah. But we're, we're a team that are used to having the ball at our feet, and we're, we're quite comfortable. And I've spoken to the lads, and they're happy to do <laughs> this with me, playing a possession mm. game and tiring the others out. Manager. You know, we want them to be running 13, 14, 15 kilometers. Our boys seven Com max. Yeah? yeah, seven. Yeah, Robbie. In goal, Mark Schwartz, huh? Wrong. We're well, gone. But he wins leagues, though. <laughs> to be fair, he wins leagues. Yeah. Normally yeah. on the bench, but he wins yeah. leagues. He's been to the Open League Right the back, Hibbert. Tony Hibbert. Tony Hibbert. Legend. Yeah, right Although back. Although he will him, he... have an issue with getting him <laughs> away from his league. Because he, <laughs> he loves to fish. He loves to fish, does Tony? Yeah. Well, you can fish out the attackers as they're coming down. Here. Oh! Hey! Here we go. There's um, a bass at high. Centre backs, Distan. This man had a little, he's, he's a bit of pace. Fast, he's, 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 fast man. Even, even though he's fast knocking man. on a bit. And 700 years old. Didn't, didn't play much last season, so <laughs> he'd be still, quite fresh. Still fat. Would and, uh, actually, side. he would have, and I'm going to change mine. You've missed the trick. Yeah. <laughs> Colo Torre. Yeah. Yep. And I'll have gone Enrique. Simply because I couldn't think of any other left back. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> but uh, he, he used to be good, didn't he, when he was at yeah. Newcastle? He, he was good at Liverpool. No, the first season for us, he was really good. And then since then, he's, he's obviously played yeah. with too many goals. He's collected, didn't he? Right, I've gone four in the. Uh, I've gone four four two. By the way, so I've got Riziki. I was your blame, Paul. Riziki on the right. Um, Flamini. I'm uh, probably sitting a bit deeper yeah. than 
Next him, Sessignon. Yeah. And then Zobbia. Yeah. And then two up front, Adeboy and Marion Tremac. That's a show. It was a two up front. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I like that. It's a decent team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Go on. Right, I have gone 4-3-3. Three, three. Ooh. You'd experimental like the Hodge. <laughs> Big time. Uh, Valdez in goal, because I still think he's got... May, may have some of his best days ahead of him. Maybe. Wow. I don't know. He's still in his peak. Uh, Tony Hibbert at right back, because... He's not. He's just a legend. Um, Hangeland, yeah, centre that's back. Proper slow now. But that's but he'll he'll win all <laughs> he'll win all the headers yeah. all the headers. Yeah. Uh, next oh, some wow. is he, isn't he still injured? Next some uh, Stephen Taylor. Nah. Who? Nah, nah. Um, I'm surprised you got a Newcastle some, player. I'm, in so, I'm sorry, but when you ca when Not you can't moments. get in Newcastle's <laughs> defence. You shouldn't be getting in anyone's. I don't think that's more down. And I did say that about Adam Simpson as well. I'm not sure about politics, all politics. Uh, and the fact that he's still reeling from that when he when he handballed it and then tried to pretend it hit him on his yeah. side <laughs> and he did some mad Michael Jackson style. He anyway. must be gutted that they've let him go. And he he's, he's, he's a Newcastle yeah. guy through and through. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Reike at left back. Yeah. Uh, and Reike, of course. I couldn't yeah. think of anyone else to be Two fair. Newcastle, ex Newcastle defenders. Yeah. Wow. But, to be yeah. honest, we're not worrying about. We're not worrying about the defence too much because the attack is so good. Go for is it. Is it? Right, it's, it's okay, you've three in midfield in Zogbia. Yeah. Rizichi. And this one, this one is a bit left field, but I think this lad's still got loads. Nick Powell. I still think he's got his best days ahead of him. Okay. Uh, I think he's... <laughs> I, he doesn't okay. even know who he is, that's why. Nick Powell, he was at, he was at United, wasn't he? Yeah. He was. Useless. He was not useless. <laughs> You're useless. useless. Really where's, good. Uh, hold on. Where, where's, where's, where's your uh, sort of defensive hang on, hang on, hang on, part hang on. to that you team? Ha you haven't. You, you, the midfield's got no. It's about. I've just said it's about attacking this side, right? It's about attacking, right? And those three, I think they're going to be a little Do bit you know narrow. What I think you should have probably put in yours, Sidwell. I why didn't you put Sidwell in yours? Because he he's my ginger. Because he's ginger. No, it's not. Like, he's why didn't you got played with glasses? You tit. Why right. Anyway, bring it back to people. Ginger. Ginger. It is because he's ginger, because isn't it? Ginger. It is because he's ginger. ginger. So why? Why you somebody can put put the, put the foot on the ball? Because he's ginger. Play it round a little bit. Because he's ginger. All right. This is why. This is why we never invite you on this show. Because you're gingerous. Right. Anyway, to be fair, everyone on YouTube thinks Chris is ginger anyway. So. Um. So, right, we're playing three up front, but there's two blonde, of them. Blonde? Clearly <laughs> blonde. <laughs> two of them can split wide and add, and go into midfield, or, you know, drop yeah, deep. Absolutely. Um, and a Chaby. It's a no-brainer. Big Vic. It's a no-brainer. Where's he playing, sorry? He's going to play He's gonna play on the right. On the right. But he can drop into midfield. He can. <laughs> he can. He used to do for of us. Of course he can. He used to do it for us all the time. Yeah, absolutely. With, with, yeah. That worked out for him. He actually fans. did. Oh, that's fine. Moy, Moyes loved him. Sterling can hear Moyes loved him. Moyes. Uh, on the other side, <coughs> Odin Wingay. Who? Like him. <laughs> Odin Wingay. Yeah, he's still he's, circling in the car park. Yeah. He's sitting in the car park, but he's, he's on the other <laughs> side. Um, and up front in the centre, Fletcher. Oh, European experience. Just coming Fletcher. off the uh, <laughs> couple of months on loan at Marseille. What did he do there? No, Anna Chaby, Adam Wingay, they can drop into midfield, make a five. Protect that back four. No, Fletcher's no, no, no. a target man. He can hold the ball up while the runners come from midfield. That can't talk and to that's my sensational. Team. Okay. So, right, basically, I, these lads put loads of thought into this, and there was a bit of stress about finding players for proper positions. I decided to free myself from the shackles of this, and I've gone for an unfulfilled potential 11 with one or two additions because some of the players were really, really poor on the <laughs> list. So, in goal, Richard Wright, uh, Chapman, 97, 98. <laughs> Destined for great things yeah. when he was at Ipswich, moved to Arsenal, ruined them. It's a familiar story. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. know he was still like playing. Yeah, he football. was at Man City, wasn't he? Um, oh yeah, that's right. They could fill the English. And that was weird when they there. weird when they got him, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Do you I've think he can now fulfil his potential at thirty nine? No. <laughs> no. This is like the permanently unfulfilled potential <laughs> eleven. Okay, he'll, go for back to he'll go back to Ipswich. Sure. Sure, why not? Probably, probably lives there. Um, back three, because of the fullback issue, as mentioned, of Martin Demichelis. Uh, now, right now, people might say, listen, he played for Man City. That's f potential fulfilled. But on Football Manager, mm. uh, 2005 and 2006, he was the best centre half in that game, and he was never. He looked. Let's face it, he was he, he was garbage, wasn't he? So you know. He's in there. Breda Hangeland, because he could have been the next Sammy Hiffier, but like he wasn't. He's on the Dean Michaelis unfulfilled potential. Is he as good? I was he as good in reality as he was on Footy Manager? Him, well, that's irrelevant, isn't it? The fact that you're comparing him to a computer game version of himself. Not in not if I've used that as my entire context for picking my team, it's entirely relevant. It's the only thing that is relevant, in fact. It's not reality, though. 
Who said, who said it had to be based on reality? <laughs> well, no, when we're basing it on reality, because obviously these players have been released. Otherwise, I'd no. just pick different players if we weren't going to do that. Well, not within the frame of the... Shut up. Not inviting you back again. Um, but like, 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 I don't do the fucking invites for this show, by the way. Not having... You, I, but I invited... But who invited you this week? He said, Chris, is it all right if you come on? And I went, yeah, so... Exactly. So, in answer to the question... And so I could The invites, like you, like you do it by Raven. You just send a WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one over Ped you're on this week. Yeah, yeah so... Um, Baz, do you want to come on? No. Ped? Yeah, all right. What else, uh, what else am I doing? <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I actually put Sylvan this then, and I was struggling for the defence. I'll be perfectly honest. Um, Steve Sidwell because he sh he should have been amazing, but he but he never was. Uh, right wing Gaston Ramirez should have been amazing, but he's not. Thomas Rizicki because he was injured for his entire career. Stefan Sessegnon similarly. Um, Charles and Zogbier, mm -hmm. what has happened? Genuinely, what has that happened to him? Definitely unfulfilled yeah. potential. Yeah, completely. And then up front, and I'm sure Robbie can completely agree with me on this. I've gone for the same forward line as you, Maron Shamach, mm -hmm. and Emmanuel Adebayor. Both guys who had the world at their feet you know, at Arsenal. You know what I would say about a lot it? of these players? A lot of them, when you look at them, they went to big clubs and it just ruined them. Yeah. It just ruined them. They should have stayed with where they are for a couple of years and just got on with it. Yeah. But they've gone to big clubs early and it's just destroyed it. So no, that's, that's a of, lesson. For, you know which one I'm really surprised about has been released is Sissing, you Yeah. So it's awful. Well, he's, he's a good you I'm really surprised West Brom have released him. I mean, I suppose it must be a wages issue. Mm. Or he's, 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 a, he's a decent player. He doesn't kick people enough. He hasn't really played for two yeah. years, though, has he? I think, yeah, this is a lesson in watching, to... not watching other teams, isn't it? <laughs> this is where West Brom fans are screaming at you now, going, Robbie, you've never watched them, have you? In fact, if you disagree, scream at the screen as loud as you possibly can, and Robbie will hear you. Yeah, just carry on. You've got two uh, channels to hear you. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, two and a half. Um, yeah. You've got two. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do this every <laughs> week. You've got two as well. This is every yeah, week. Mind, uh, anyway, yeah, let us know your release 11 and, in fact, vote for who you feel put the best 11 together there. Uh, click the I in the Thank corner you. of Thank the you. screen. Thank Thanks very much. Check out the rest of Social Club this week as well.